Google has released this week's update for Android, which has come in the form of a Google System Services update. And today, I will be going over what has been changed with the new versions of the Google Play Store application and the Google Play Services application. First up, we have an update to the Google Play Services app that brings it up to version 25.30. This week, anyone who is setting up Android Auto will notice an improved onboarding and sign-in process. They've also added a feature for those with an Android smartphone that will allow you to add an optional security question when you set up your remote lock feature. You will also be able to use a new shortcut labeled autofill with Google, which can help you to fill in your login credentials or your payment details much faster. And the last couple of changes include a new feature for PIX users in Brazil that will now hear a tone and feel a vibration after a successful tap transaction has been made. Google Wallet users will also be able to access what they are calling multi-family residential, although they don't go into details about what this specific feature is. This might be something new that gets announced in the near future, or it may be something that you already know about. So let me know down in the comment section below if this is a feature that you are familiar with. Next up for Android this week, we have a couple of updates to the Google Play Store application for those who are using a smartphone. First up, Quests now have the ability to give you play points when you play or rediscover some of the games that you have enjoyed over the years. The other change added with this update allows you to see paragraph review summaries and review topic chips on the details page of an application or a game that you're browsing through. And you can now review topic level summaries on all reviews pages within the Google Play Store application. These changes are coming to those who have installed the latest version of those applications. For the Google Play Services app, the best way that I have found to update this manually is by diving into the Apps section of the Settings application. Then on this page, find where you can show all of the system apps. Sometimes it's done in a filter button like this. Other times you access it through the three dot menu icon up here and then search for the word services. That should help you find the Google Play Services application and tapping on that will bring you to the app info page. From here, we scroll down and you'll find a section labeled app details in store and it'll tell you where this app was installed from. So we're gonna tap on this to be taken to the Google Play Store page. If you have an update that's waiting for you, then you can press the update button from here. However, if that button says remove updates, then a new version is not eligible for your device yet. From here, you can either choose to sideload that new update or simply wait for Google to include your device in the phased rollout. In order to manually update the Google Play Store application, we can dive into the settings area of that app and then tap into the about section. You'll find a link here labeled update Play Store and you can tap on that. If an update is available for you to install, then you will be told that the Google Play Store will be updated shortly. However, if you're told that the Google Play Store is already up to date, then just like the other app that I mentioned here today, you can either choose to manually sideload that new version from a trusted source, 
or you can wait for your device to become eligible for that new update. Google tends to stretch out these phased rollouts for around two to four weeks time. So it may only take a couple of days before your device can install that new update, but it also may end up taking a few weeks. And sadly, there's not any way to check on the progress of these rollouts. And you cannot check to see when you will be eligible for it either. It's just a wait and see process. And that's it for this week. In the past, I have waited until the end of the month to make these videos, but I feel that may be missing out on some news right when it's released. So we'll try this out and see how it works. If you have any questions about these updates mentioned here today, or about Android in general, then please feel free to use the comment section down below. Just be sure to give this video a like as it really helps to keep me motivated here, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.